Welcome back to Retro Mon Gamers, this is your host Killer J here, and we're back, and today's review is Dead Space 2 Severed. Yes, I'm reviewing the Dead Space 2 DLC. Oh yes, Killer J's reviewing a DLC now. Even better for because last time I reviewed Dead Space, it was with uh, Dragon Slayer, I believe, there. The I know I reviewed Dead Space third with Welch, or Dead Space 2 I reviewed with Dragon Slayer, from what I remember. But now... It's just me reviewing the DLC all by myself there, just a nice, nice, a nice little 9 minute review, part of the fourth half, because this game is going to be coming up right after, before Gears of War 5, so you're going to get this one and Gears of War 5, so you're going to get two. You're going to get two games for the price of one, and later on you're going to get some more stuff later on in, in, in the seasons to come, so you might get more, so who knows. So that season 12 is just more about getting consistency and trying to get the reviews out there so you probably might have more details and leaks, more reviews out there so and later on you're going to have the holiday special there which is going to be the big Christmas event with the four the four different game bundles with four different games and consoles and diversity and stuff like that you're going to see a lot more of it so just going to stick around with season 12 the six, season 12 is just going to be non-stop review show on there I know how it is because first of all we got the we had this episode going on here. This is one of the new episodes I've been working on, so I kind of, kind of want to review Dead Space 2 there, Sever, because I know I got this as one of my birthday games I bought bought for myself on, on my birthday. So anyway, that's besides the point. It's going to be a good game, so you're going to see a lot more out of killer games. Than just look at the season in general. Season 12 is a bit consistent with all the stuff that's been happening in it there. There's nothing but consistency. That's yeah, so going to get that, and as well, you get more viewers out there too. Might get dragons so and might get like you already see now reviews are already leaked for the full pack and they get more of it too, so it's just Murmac and Grumpy Dad and that's it pretty much. Those two are those two need to renew it's just everyone else pretty much did what they needed to do, everyone else is pretty much there, so everyone else renewed, so it's good there, it's just those two names and in season 12 will have, hopefully those characters will come into season 12 as well, just find find ways to get them in there somehow, just is what it is, because I know season 12 just basically had that bundling stuff, it just more or less uh, had more returns than anything else there, but the holiday special is going to be surprising too, because it's going to have a lot of stuff in there too, just like crap ton of games, like uh, you're going to have a, a special four different games, well, like four, four different machines there, you're going to have the first part is going to be pretty good and the last part of the holiday special is going to be even better too because it's going to have a lot of stuff out of it there so I know I wanted to do Gears of War uh, what was it there well Gears of War 1 is one of the games there, I know there's a whole bunch there, you're going to see a lot more, I don't want to spoil it too much because it's going to be in December so December is going to be like a it's going to be like a Christmas present for the Retro Mon Gamer fans there. Fans out there that, that are actually enjoying the content, you're going to get different types of reviewers in the specials there. So, as I know there's going to be one that's PS1 theme related, there's one that's Xbox One theme related, there's a bunch of different themes in the special parts there. Like you're getting a lot more out of it than Season 12. Uh, you get a lot more with Season 12 than anything else there because to me 12 is pretty consistent. And what I have to say about the game graphics are pretty good for Dead Space 2 Sever. Very good, awesome gameplay graphics. And this is basically the characters from Dead Space, uh, the on rail shooter there. Uh, what was it? Uh, Dead Space Extraction there. Extraction, I'm pretty sure that's the game. I know there was, uh, there was dead, the third Dead Space game. There's one for the Wii there. It's also on the PlayStation the third because it basically has some of the characters from the, the Wii version of Dead Space in the PlayStation game. On Rails one, it has those characters, Lexine and the guy here. Those two characters are in this DLC, so it's pretty good. It's basically telling their story, and Lexine basically has to be with the main character of this DLC, so. Here's a child, so. Here it is. Oh, I like Season 12. I'm just liking it so far. I'm trying to, like, member the scheme there. I'm trying to, like, member the DLC and at least try to do it properly when I'm reviewing it. People say, oh, Koji's is this and that. No, all. Well, for me, I like the games that I'm reviewing because I'm enjoying them. Because that's the point. Game re that's the point is being for doing me to enjoy myself there. If you're enjoying something, you do it. You do it. You don't just wait around there. Oh, I'm gonna mope around this and that. No, I just 
me, I'm a doer when it comes to my reviews. I just do them apparently and effectively. That's why Dead Space 2 Severed is pretty good, and I'm going to have a lot more reviews out the door because I've been non stop review shallant. They're just how many reviews that I do is like non stop. They're just so much there. It's, 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 it's how funny it is. They're just going to do more later on at the. Uh, oh, excuse me, or that's the belt here. Yeah. Yeah, I know the third half was pretty good, just so much to it there. Now on the fourth half, their fourth half is going to be even better too, but it's going to wrap up some things there. Wrap up some loose ends like uh, Mortal Kombat there, Mortal Kombat 11 there. Combat Pack Part 1 was the, the big ending piece of the third half, the fourth half. Well, it will end on 260th episode, right? So, it just needs to get more characters in there so we can get more in there. There's going to be a lot more reviews that are going to be done pretty soon. There's going to be a lot more that stay on there. Some are going to be changed over and, and carry over to Season 13. So you don't know what's going to happen in Season 12. Because Season 12 is basically a mystery. Anything can happen in that season. You get a game like this. You could get a retro game. You could get a, anything that you don't expect. It could come out at you and surprise you too. Because you can get a lot more out of it. You might even get different game bundles too. You might just get like four or five different games. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. So, who knows? Who knows you might get four or five different games that might be nice too, so. Because uh, who knows what Season 12 is going to deliver because Season 12 is just going to be consistent. Because now... Ah, shit. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Besides that, 12 is basically consistent. Let's see. Consistently wrapping up the 12 half and... Well, season 12 is there, it's just, I was seeing a bunch of stuff all over again, it's like, oh, season 12, 4, 12, half, now, well. Season 12 is going to be good, and just, I'm so happy to say that I'm happy to review these games there. Because, like I said, season 12 is pretty much there, just, it's a lot of stuff out of it there. Here's what it is there. I know I'm happy to review this game there, I'm happy to review Dead Space Severed DLC there because later on you might get more Dead Space DLC reviews and Bioshock DLC reviews, who knows, you might get a lot more out of it in Season 12. That's what Season 12 is all about, is surprising people, it's just like, holy freak, can we review this? Yeah, well, that's what Retro Longer is all about, we're reviewing good stuff, not review the stuff we don't like. We want to make sure everyone, I know we can't please everybody, we will at least try to please everybody because... To me, I still gotta review the stuff I wanna review and for the seasons and stuff like that. Just like, have games jump out at you and say, holy frick, this is actually good. But for Dead Space 2 separate DLC, uh, I wanna give it an 8.5 out of 10. So that's a very, very good rating, 8.5 out of 10. And it's very good too, this is a 7 gen game too. And the 7 gen, I don't care what anyone says there, 7 gen is where people actually, the game started to actually be fun. And there were more games and politics and shit like that. There were more about video gaming and just. They were like escaping. They were like escaping the real world, more or less, and just sitting back, playing them with the hand, the controller, whatever, whatever platform you played on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox 360, or the PC gaming out there. It was more relaxed. It wasn't more. Oh well, we gotta show up hand fist politics up our up the ass for the games. We gotta promote this, and it wasn't about people saying, oh, we want just you know preaching about some stupid shit like about. The stuff that doesn't even have to do with games, it's just more or less, games are supposed to have fun, you're supposed to have fun with characters, you're not supposed to go with this whole propaganda thing, you're supposed to play the games for what they are and enjoy it, if you don't like the games, don't play them. Games are supposed to be cool, they're supposed to be, games like this need to come back there, but EA, they're so greedy there, they, you wouldn't do anything good there, just more, more or less do the same old free hash gimmicks there. But to me, Dead Space is a very good series. I like to see something like this come back. So, something similar to Dead Space. Alright, see you people later, and bye. Killer J, peace out.